Right now, the Burrett Motor Chevrolet pace truck drops down to the inside. The start will be coming off at turn number four. They go bumper to bumper, nerf bar to nerf bar. You can hear the roar of those 12 block Chevrolets as they start to wind up coming out at turn four. The green lights are on. And it's Russ Bartlett on the bottom side going up to the number one spot, Greg O'Connor. Right down on the bottom, taking up the number two spot. We got a jam up coming off at turn number two. A look at Anthony, and we got something flying off of one of the cars going down the three-quarter point in the back straightaway as we've got a quick yellow coming out. First hook of Chevrolet pace truck swinging in at the three-quarter point of the back straightaway, bringing them down out of dirt for the green lights are on. Bartlett on the bottom side, and Bartlett going back up to the number one spot with Greg O'Connor. Josh Sikolek, he took advantage of the situation. He is up there to the number three spot. Anthony Lasorto, car number one. Also, Andrew Gardner, boy, he is moving up as he has moved up to the number five spot. They bring it around to complete lap number one. It's Bartlett turning a quick time with a 19.390. Bartlett opens up a big lead. Then you got O'Connor, Sikolek, Lasorto, and Gardner running the top five. You got smoke coming off of Anthony Lasorto. He got a puff of smoke coming off in turn number two. We're going to have to keep our eyes on him. And we got trouble down at the halfway point of the back straightaway. I believe it is Travis Bartlett. Travis in car number 03 started the event on the outside of row number one. And apparently coming from the power steering pump.
takes the lead or Bruce is second, Hayden third, the Tulip, and Bartlett, Russ Bartlett, in the number five spot. Cliff is up to second. He's got a long way to go, but he's got time to do it. And this time around, there's going to be ten laps remaining. Anthony up there in the number one spot, going down in the turn number two, Dave Cliff. Turning the quickest lap again with an 18.914, and we got a looper. It is the 27 of the Tulip going down in a turn uh, number one. And you know what this is going to do? This is going to put the quick running fast car of Dave Cliff right up on the back bumper of Anthony Lasorto. Lasorto had well over a quarter of a straightaway lead, nearly a half. But now Cliff is second, and he was really coming on. She'll start to pick it up right about where she is right now, and she'll drop down onto the inside to park the speedway. Lasorto, Cliff, one and two. They've been going at it all season long. Anthony on the bottom part of the speedway. Dave Cliff hooks up on the outside, brings it down out of turn number four. The green lights are on, and Dave Cliff pulls ahead, coming down the front straightaway. Cliff in car number 50, now your new leader coming off of turn number two. Check it, here comes Lasorto, down onto the inside. Lasorto looks onto the inside, the lane is closed. They race down to between turns number three and four. Anthony goes to the high side, coming off of turn number four. Bringing it down here in the front straightaway. Dave Latulip is now, and Brad Haynes up to the number three stop. Latulip is back there fourth. Bartlett running fifth. Sokolik is still back in the number eight position. The fourth corner coming down, the white flag is out. Dave Cliff, Anthony Lasorto riding one and two. Racing off a turn number two and down the back straightaway. Halfway down the back shoot. Will he be able to catch him? I don't think he's going to be able to do it. There's going to be a little bit of traffic down in between them. As they bring it down, the checkered flag is out. Cliff takes the win. Anthony is second. Haynes is third. Then Russ Bartlett, Mike Bruce, Josh Nicole, for six. Final up here, David. A quick word with you. Stand up over here. David, double file restarts week to week. We've been talking how crucial they are. You get Anthony, who's dominated every week. And now tonight, you park it in victory lane. Yeah, I feel first you got to apologize to Ross Bartlett there early in the race. I really did not want to get into him. Uh, he didn't see me, and I just didn't have enough room, and I backed out a little too late. So my apologies to him. Uh, I hope to see him up here soon. I'm sure he will be with that new car. But, yeah, uh, that was my own mistake. I got put to the back, uh, had a bad start with the, getting in the wrong line. But, I don't know, I was just sort of possessed after that one restart, and I found myself on the outside in three and four and uh, was able to get by a lot of guys really quickly. And, uh, Luckily, a yellow came out because there certainly was no way I was going to catch Anthony for sure. And uh, I don't know, it, it just stuck for some reason. So uh, that was an awesome win. You, you picked him off on the restart there. It went yellow, then back to the restart. Big time move down the front straightaway. Yeah, I was sort of surprised on that first restart we had that I was able to stay alongside of him. And then the second time, like I said, I we both fired at the same time down in three. And I, th I think just having a little more momentum starting on the outside lane carried me by him down the front stretch, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Well, give us a shout out to all your sponsors and everyone who gives you a hand. Yeah, I'd like to thank Lakeside Restaurant, Lighthouse Lanes, uh, Joe's Jerky jumped on board a couple weeks ago, Master Fryers, Taekwondo, uh, and everyone else has shipped in along the way. It really helps a lot. Well, congratulations to David Cliff tonight. J.P. Jeweler, 30 lap SBS winner, and David's going to draw the 50-50. Coming down between three and four. They start to pick up the pace now. Looking off that fourth turn. Green flag from starter Donnie Forbes. They come charging down into the corner side by side. Snyder takes away the lead. Tim Snyder in the zero. Grabs the lead from Eric Iosu. Iosu now running in second. Here's Bellinger up on the outside. Bellinger going to go for that number two spot. Working on Iosu coming up the corner. Eric hangs on to the position. Iosu running in second, Bellinger third. Look at Schulich and Champagne side by side. That's a battle for fourth. Jeff Mabel behind him. Here's Bellinger down to the inside. Shoots past the 11 of Iosu. Iosu falls back to the number three spot, but he's got a challenge out there. Logan Rivals in the number 94. Dave Schulich to 95. Here comes Sitterly now on the outside. Sitterly trying to find some racing room down the back stretch. He's alongside Dave Schulich coming down up that fourth quarter now. The race leader, the zero of Timmy Snyder. Snyder down, out in front, running second, Brandon Bellinger. 
35 down, 10 remaining. Bellinger out in front, finally gets to the inside of Connors, puts him a lap down. But Jeff Abel has closed a lot of ground, and a yellow coming out. Nice save by Eric Iosu. He had that car cranked dead sideways on the back straight. Made a great save, but the yellow had come out. And Iosu takes that car to the pits. Goes around him on the outside. Bellinger out in front. Abel running in the number two spot. And wow, what a save by Joe Gosick. Wow, what a save. I don't know if you caught that, Roy, but Joe was going to the inside. Jack Patrick was there. He hit his tire. He was aiming at the fence. You can see his lockup marks yeah. right there, and he caught it. Well, there's experience for you. Yeah, I think Michael might have been involved with all the bouncing around, too. That's why he's going in the pits. Yeah, Michael Barnes in the pits in the 68. Brandon will get a good jump on him again. Picking up the pace again down the back straight. Patrick trying to stay way down to the inside, and Abel on the outside going around him, coming between three and four. Makes the clean pass. Here comes Sitterly right behind him. Barnes, of course, in the pits now as Allison slowed goes to the outside of Patrick. She's trying to put him a lap down, but it's Bellinger out in front. Abel in the number two spot. Right now, the seven of Sitterly is third as they come around this time. Slowed will be fourth, and they hard hit into the wall for Logan Ravals, I think. Yes, Logan Ravals, a hard hit into the foam in turn number three. So we will try another restart. Here we go, the green flag ready to come out as Patrick again stays down to the inside. The uh, 05 of Abel goes around the outside. Here comes Sitterly, fourth running slowed on the outside as well. Patrick staying down to the inside. Gosek goes by him. Here comes the 55 of Champagne, and then the uh, zero of Snyder and the 50 of Gruel. They're right there as well. But Abel staying right up with the 02 of Brandon Bellinger. Bellinger, the race leader. Abel running in second. Here is the seven of Sitterly. Gosek goes by Slode. Sitterly running in third. Here comes Gosek now working on Sitterly. Slode back there in the number five spot. Your leader coming off the corner. The 02 Brandon Bellinger. Watch the 00 Joe Gosek. Go Joe working on the seven of Otto Sitterly. Sitterly in the number three spot. Gosek looks down to the inside. As we got a car way high here in the corner. That's the 01 of Danny Connors. He's going to be heading down to the pit area and into the pits, I believe, off the rear pit gate entrance. Once again, Gosick trying to get underneath the 7 of Otto Sitterly. Here's the white flag for race leader Brandon Bellinger. Jeff Abel in second. Sitterly third. Gosick fourth. Slowed is fifth. Here's Gosick down to the inside, trying to make a run down in turn three. Can't do it. Checkered flag is out. Off the corner. Gosick going to the outside, back to the inside. Down across the stripe, and he can't do it. It's Sitterly finishing third. Gosick in fourth. Sloan is fifth. Gruel, no, Champagne is sixth. Gruel is seventh. Snyder is eighth. Eddie Bellinger down there getting some congratulations. Third generation driver, Brandon Bellinger. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, a great hand for the 0-2, Brandon Bellinger. Wearing his retro Miller High Life fire suit that was worn by his dad many years ago. I may have worn that fire suit. I worn one of Eddie's uh, the night I drove Skip Matzak's car. All right, we're gonna go track side. The race winner is out of the car. Here is Doug Cowles with the race winner, Brandon Bellinger. Well, thank you guys. Brandon Bellinger parks it in victory lane. Look at the suit, guys. Miller High Life here. A little different beverage down there. 21 tequila, Brandon Bellinger. What a night. Parking in victory lane on a retro night. JP Jeweler, Jewelers. Awesome night for you. Oh, yeah. Feels good. I know the last couple weeks seemed like we kind of fell off the rails a little bit and didn't go as good as we as we think we could have. But uh, I don't know. I guess the extra week off helped us and just got everything in order. And the car was fast all night tonight. So it was... Uh, we were able to get to the front, and the car was working real good, so you're feeling confident at that point. You, you just took off and left. Do you think you could have came through the pack, or was that what you needed to start on the pole there? Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about that one next week. <laughs> we're going to drink a lot of 21 tequila tonight? Absolutely. There's no substitutions for that. All right. Well, give us a shout out to everybody out that gives you a hand here. No, I just got to thank the whole Randy Giraffe Farms family who let me drive the race car, uh, Orange Crate Brewing, Sheffield Motorsports. They got a little party going on in the VIP tower, I think. Uh, Vashaw's Collision, they're all... They're my family. They help us out a ton, so uh, 
Got a lot of good friends and family. We're going to have some fun tonight. All right. Well, congratulations, Brandon Bellinger, you guys. Victory Lane here tonight, Racing Royalty, the Bellinger family back in Victory.